Welcome back to the program. Every week we love to visit with our friends from the Animal Rescue League of Iowa to Second Chance for Great Pets. We have Rose Hebron uh, joining us in studio right now and brought a uh, an adorable animal with you right now. We have a soft spot for rabbits. Yes. Just so you know, at one time when we were growing up, had about 40 or 50 of them. Oh my goodness. Uh, we kept acquiring them from the neighborhood people that didn't want them anymore. But uh, tell us who you brought with you. Yeah, so I brought Heart today. Heart, Heart like the shape. Um, she is not up for adoption. Okay. She's actually an owned pet. She's my pet. Oh, and she, she, is. she is my pet. And she's a part of our education program at the ARL. So I like to call her our little animal ambassador for okay. the shelter. So she goes with me to visit schools. Um, she also gets to teach kids about pet responsibility and pet safety. So she has a really important role with the ARL. Um, and we just really want to share um, with the public about our classroom programs because a lot of people don't realize that we do travel right. and go visit schools. Um, so we do offer those for, for free for Des Moines Public Schools and Hart comes to most of those visits and she even has her own story written about her called Caring for Hart that just teaches about responsibility and empathy for pets. That is nice. What it's made really you want cool. to have a rabbit as a pet? So she um, and her sister Mabel came to the ARL, um, just got surrendered, and we thought that they were really friendly. We brought them in with a group of kids and just loved them because they did such a great job. Um, so they were actually in our education department before I adopted them for about six months, okay. and then I fell in love with them and I just had to take them home. So <laughs> I officially adopted them this past summer. Okay, now do yeah. you let them run around the house? Or I do. do, they, they do. <laughs> so they are litter trained? Yes, they are. Oh, they okay. have free reign of my apartment and it's pretty much their how apartment long did it take now because we talk about this whenever we uh, do have rabbits mm -hmm. uh, on the program Liz, but how long did it take you to litter train i was really lucky they came litter trained oh, they did. and they were just babies um but it doesn't matter what age they are honestly when they're older it's a little bit easier to litter train them but um what i always tell people is just take away a lot of the soft stuff in their cage for a little bit and just put um, something soft in their litter box and they'll choose to swale that rather than the other items in their so cage and they'll the slowly Huh? Yep, they'll slowly get used to it, and I just got really lucky with my two girls. Oh, that is yeah. Really neat. But you mentioned the, the classroom. Yeah. Uh, that you guys go visit the uh, classroom program that you have. Now, what do people have to do in order to get involved with that, in order to yeah. uh, you know, be part of that? So we have multiple classroom programs that educators can choose from, and they're all, um, in, they all have engaging content that's mm -hmm. going to educate kids about all kinds of animal welfare issues in our community. So they can go on to arl-iowa.org and just search classroom classroom programs and um, the list will pop up and there will be a web form and they can um, just it get sent directly to me and we can talk after they send that in about what they and want. And how much lead time do we need in order to arrange something like uh, this? We like at least two weeks, okay. but if it's short notice, we'll do what we can to make it work. We've got a lot of awesome volunteers who will go into the classrooms too, mm. so we'll do what we can. That is really cool. Yeah. All right, so we, uh, we have an animal here. We want to show an animal that's uh, available for adoption yeah. too, because we always have a kitty cat uh, that we show. We're going to show you our, the cat for today. Tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, so we have Juan Carlos this morning. Um, he's an 11 year old boy and he is actually a part of our shelter cat getaway program so he is not at any of the ARL locations he's in a foster home just taking a little bit of a break he's super sweet and loving he just needs a little bit of time to warm up to you but after he's warmed up to you he'll just snuggle in your lap um, he really likes the cat toys especially the ones that are shaped like the mice of course. yes <laughs> um, and he would be totally fine just being the only pet in the home um, he's lived with cats in the past but he would be totally fine just being by himself doesn't like dogs which is cool we get that um, and he needs a very mature home as well that is mm -hmm. really really neat now something else that is really neat at the animal rescue league you have your therapets program and yeah. tomorrow you have something going on it's game on right now isn't it for tomorrow yeah okay. yeah we'll, we we'll, uh, we'll as of right now play it by ear though <laughs> yep, we'll yep. Keep, keep an eye on the website yep right? as of right now we are having therapets orientation tomorrow morning um, in our auditorium at ARL Maine and that is a program it's really cool heart is actually a part of that with me and it's a program where um, owners with their pets of any species really can come and learn about how to become a team that is certified through the ARL to go and make visits to different um, locations with people in need who just need comfort and smiles so okay. it's a very cool program so orientation um, is a people only event where you just go and learn a little bit more about the program that works yeah. all right and something else I want to mention is coming up next week uh, is a program we've had a chance to participate in a couple of different 
times. Yeah. Buddy Bingo. Yes. I can't believe how much people get into this. Buddy Bingo is pretty fun. It gets intense sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, um, like, you're taking it to the next level because you're taking it outside yeah. of Animal Rescue League Yeah, now. so we're excited to um, have it at Lime Lounge this time. So it's going to be downtown, and there's going to be three rounds of bingo. If you pay 15 bucks, you get three bingo cards, um, and you get to win all kinds of cool prizes. Um, some of them are animal themed, and it's just a really good time to hang out, and it all benefits the animals, which is the most fun part. It is the most yeah. fun part, and doing a great thing too. Also, don't forget the gourmet apples yes. uh, for Valentine's Day available right now. Go to the Animal Rescue League site to get all the details on that. Thank you so much for coming. Thank in, Rose. you. Thank you, Hart. You did a great job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, folks. Your second chance for great pets with the Animal Rescue League of Iowa. People want to get more information about the ARL. Where should they go? ARL-Iowa.org. That works. Thank you so much. Thank you.